people are talking about twin flames and soulmates. Um, Mehdi says twin flames are a fake concept to disguise narcissism. Yeah, I agree. I, I am not a fan of the concept of twin flames or soulmates. I think anything that the reason there's many reasons for this, but that in itself is a very idealized concept. It's a very kind of this idea, this romantic love that there's this one other person out there that's kind of meant to complete us. It's, it's also, I think, very much a, a form of kind of a cloaked codependency. It's this idea that somebody else out there completes us. And it's not a concept that I subscribe to. I think there's a lot, I think everybody that kind of comes into our life brings something, right? They either bring joy or they bring a really hard earned life lesson. So you know, I don't think that there is one other perfect person for us. And I think a lot of people that kind of look for that other perfect person tend to become very like, bitter and jaded when they're not finding this person or when that person starts showing their humanity because everybody looks good at first, right? I mean, everybody seems, everybody that you're attracted to either intellectually or physically or both at first, it's like, man, I, this, I really click with this person. They're so fantastic but it takes time to really know a person. And when you do, then you realize that they're human, that they have quirks about them that you don't like, that they have maybe have some certain beliefs that you don't agree with and, and what have you. So it's um, not so much about another person completing us or us completing another person. It's about finding people that have more of that growth mentality, you know, that have that open, honest, sincere, solutions-oriented communication they are ready, willing, and able to be a team player and they treat you with dignity and respect. I mean, that's, those are the kinds of people that I feel like more are along the lines of like, you know, your people or our people or what have you. Like seek out those people, people that make you feel safe and secure and um, that you can be yourself around. Yeah, Missouri Cowboy brings up a great point. He says, yes, ick waiting on your white knight to come riding up the soulmate, the twin flame, he, 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 yes. And that's another kind of part of it. That's other type of dynamic that tends to be going around is, you know, this, uh, that women are damsels in distress and need a white knight to kind of save them. And I think a lot of women buy into this and a lot of men buy into this and that is also very toxic. You know, people really need to be able to kind of hold their own and have their own stuff figured out before they get into a relationship. And if a person's looking to be rescued or needing to be rescued from their own life, that's a problem. And, and of course, like we might've at one time thought, oh, but that's so romantic and all that, but it's, you know, it's not, it's, it's a big problem. And, um, Nobody else can fix another person. So it's it's kind of the whole thing, like, are you looking for a partner or are you looking for a project? You know, look for a partner. Mm -hmm.